you guys it's Yvette how you doing um it is Friday Eve and very excited that I've got two boxes to open so um the first one that I have I figure we might as well just get right into it is the sew sampler um so let's get that one open yay it's all rainy outside so it's great to be in here opening a box um okay so theme is home sweet cottage <laughs> and on the back um okay they're advertising triangles on a roll so fast so accurate so creative um okay so it looks like you can buy a roll and i'm trying to see what it says um and you can make different size triangles and flying geese and so forth um the let me see if they mention a price doesn't really mention a price but um i don't even know if this is really new um i've never i, I remember um didn't they have something that was called i probably still have some here but they used to have these little like triangles and stuff that they would sell like finangles or you guys know what i'm talking about fangles <laughs> trying try fangles I, I don't remember something like that um and i never really got into using those either so um so i didn't know about these um it says two inch finished block half square triangles i think and you could do like different ones so maybe there's like different um varieties of what you can get so okay that's one thing they were telling us about and as we go here's my sticker it says so what Look, jelly bean. You want a sticker? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Jelly Bean. Yeah, everybody's happy now. <laughs> they got to see a little bit of uh, my jelly bean. Okay, so we have the little um, card that tells us everything that's inside and how much it costs and blah, blah, blah. We'll come back to that. And of course, um, the basket block number 11, which is the basket sew sampler quilt that we've been getting uh, the patterns for every month by Lori Holt. Um, okay, the next thing that we are being told about is um, a new book release that's called Oh Scrap. <laughs> Love it <laughs> already. Um, and it is by Lissa Alexander. Um, and there's also, we're giving a, a promo code for 20% off all Martingale books, which is nice. And here's the new book, um, Oh Scrap. And Jelly Bean's going to check it out. What you think, Jelly Bean? Jelly Bean. Hey, bud. What you think, buddy? See, cats do what they want to do. Oh, got an ear. What you think, bud? Did you like this? You want mommy to, mommy to make that or buy that book? Yeah, okay. Who knows? <laughs> Okay. Oh, look, guys. They gave me some triangles on a roll. Oh, my goodness. So that means, okay, um, triangles on a roll. I'm trying to see if it says, oh, this uh, roll makes 200 half square triangles. Um, why does it say makes 200 each? Each what? What? I don't. Hmm. Okay, well, this roll, which is that size, says 200 each. I don't know what that means, really. Um, but it retails for $9.98. So that's not a bad price. I mean, if you're making 200, that's that's pretty good, I think. Um, okay, so the next thing that I see is some Aurifil thread. I'm pretty sure this is Aurifil. Yep, some Aurifil thread in one of my absolute fave colors. It is not white. It is sort of like a cream. Um, and you can, I mean, I've sewn with this color or some even slight variation of it on white, cream, um, I mean, just like anything sort of gardeny or, I mean, absolutely, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, so versatile. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm kind of freaking out right now because we got two charm packs of mama's cottage and um all right so 
charm packs are not all that easy to to pull apart because that that would take me like hours to get it back together but let me try to um pull back some fabric so you can see what they look like there's one um and here's the next one and we have this you guys it looks like there's a whole bunch of different patterns and colors it's just this is actually pretty nice um you know i mean i'm not a big fan of those big flowers but i do like the colors and that's that helps like tremendously when you at least like the colors at least for me um there's little no low volume crosses what you doing smudgy what's going on buddy i like that one that's nice. Not many, um, you know, there's not a whole bunch of that going on these days. Like the paisley kind of stuff. And I actually like it okay. As long as it's not too wild and crazy. I'm trying to knock the, um, push the cover down so we can see a little bit more. There you go. And then we have the green crosses. And green triangles. And okay, we have it's like a um, like a it's not white. It's well, I guess it is kind of white. It's just hard to tell because you could see that green coming through. But I, I'm pretty sure it's like a it's like a um, white on white. And oh, look how cute that is, guys! The little hearts. And look, the next one is orange with the little hearts. And then, I mean, there's like one square each for most of these. It, it's they're not really duplicated. It's really nice. Um, you could make some really, um, you know, good designs with like different. Fa I'm trying to think of what I'm thinking of, and I can't think of what I'm thinking of because I can't think. <laughs> so yellow with the orange cross. Um, all right, and we got. Ugh. Come on, stop it. They love each other a lot. <laughs> they don't want to come apart. Oh my goodness, I thought I was never going to get that apart. <laughs> There's that one. And then another uh, white with the yellow hearts. And flower print again. And oh, look. See, it, it all, sometimes it all depends on what the color is. I'm telling you, because like these little paisleys, I am loving that. I mean, you just don't see that that often. And the colors are like, they really pop. I love, I love this whole thing. I actually, actually, I mean, I'm being quite honest. I think that I probably saw Mama's Cottage and I saw this flower on the front and was like, eh, and went past because it, not my cup of tea, but pretty much everything else in here I love. Look at that. Those colors. They're gorgeous. The pinks and the peaches and um, some corals. The green, the blue. They're loving each other again. Okay, here we go. White with the pink heart. And, oh, that paisley again. Love it. You guys are going to have to tell me what you think down below. You see, now this one almost looks too much like a bandana for me. It's okay. Probably if I had it mixed in with, like, all of the others, um, then this would be okay. But by itself, I would never just use that. Never. Um, and there we go. My opinion, there's just not enough variation in the color with the reds. I like the others better. There just seems to be more, like, the, the colors... Uh, pop when they're used together with the reds when it's just variations of red I just feel like they kind of wash themselves out or they just overpower you know you have to use it sparingly that's just my opinion <laughs> by the way just thought I would add that 
Um, and there's the white with the red cross, which is nice. And once again, the very front. Um, and I am, I am so impressed about how few prints are actually duplicated in here. Um, that's really amazing. Um, so there's Mama's Cottage. And, you know, if you only saw like a charm pack like I did and thought, I don't like that on the front, take a look. Because, um, I, honestly, I never would have picked this up wouldn't have happened um but i actually really like a lot of those prints so let's keep going we have another ruler um it's a mini okay doug Lico antler quilt design and i think is this only talking about that let me pull this out because this might just be talking about the ruler or it might be a pattern of some kind i better make sure okay um, okay, I think this is just about the ruler, and it says, okay, you guys, maybe it's just me, but these rulers are getting so complicated. I, I shouldn't have to have a ruler where it takes this much learning. Uh, come on. I, I mean... Maybe if you, you, you know, if it was the only ruler you were ever using and then you, you got going with it and then you kept using, well then you, you know, you'd remember how to use it because I'm not keeping all these little freaking papers everywhere. I've got enough fabric in here to like choke a horse. I don't want any more paper. Okay. I digress. I'm going to read what it says. It says, many simple folded corners. Many as in M-I-N-I, -I, like small. Okay. Make accurate folded corners every time. Choose between two methods, oversized folded corner to trim down or no trim slash exact size folded corners. Um, use the simple folded corners ruler for all of your quilting projects. Never draw a line for folded corners again. Seven different sizes. Smudgy, there's no, I'm sorry, baby. There's no room at the end. Uh... <laughs> Use with any pattern calling for folded corners. Right and left-handed instructions, free video demo on our website, no drawing lines, remarkably accurate, great for mini quilts and anything with half inch to three and a half inch folded corners. Okay, um, so this is the ruler. Let me take it out so it's not all flashy like. Um, there's the ruler and it's got all the different um, sizes that you could uh, make with the folded corners and like I said giant book of instructions and very nice that there's a video tutorial because um, sometimes I learn a whole lot better by seeing and doing like I'm I'm much better at that than reading instructions so bonus for them <laughs> because I could just go on and YouTube it because that's what I do okay um, so there's the new ruler, and the last thing in the box is an actually quite lovely um, pattern for, and it's a it's a pattern from O oh Scrap. Um, it's called Life's a Picnic, so it looks like it's just a um, like a table topper, um, and there it is, right? I have to tell you guys, I want to go buy this book. This looks like really cool. Um, especially if like this is the kind of pattern we're getting. I, I really dig that. Um, so, um, all right. So there's a meet the designer, um, and there's a instruction on, oh, okay. So you can either, uh, the finished block is four and a half by four and a half and the finished runner, they're calling it a runner, but I don't know. It looks like it's kind of just rectangly and not, you know, not that anyways, it says that the size is. 22 and a half inch by 40 and a half inch. Okay, well that sounds like a runner. It don't look that long in this picture. A am I crazy? It doesn't look that long in that picture, right? I don't know, maybe these people have like some super enormous table that I can, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, oh, this looks more like it, but looks lovely. I think this is great, I love this pattern. Okay, so you guys, two freaking so samplers in a row where I'm totally stoked. I love it. 
I hope you guys love it too. Um, I know that we don't all like the same things, so there are some of you out there who are probably disappointed again. Um, so I'm really, really sorry because I know how that feels. Um, but, you know, that said, <laughs> I really love it. Um, I think it's great. So um, please leave your comments and your um, whatever below talking about if you've um, used the triangles on a roll or if you have used this um, ruler, you know, what did you think of it? Have you seen the video? Does it help? Um, do you think it's something you're going to use a lot? Um, love to hear what you guys have to say. And um, I do have another box to open tonight. Actually, two more boxes to open tonight. So I will be back pretty soon. And um, I'll let's see what's in the next box. Okay, bye.